We've been talking about biological monitoring, and this is the last step in the process. But it is incredibly important that we complete this part of the process because we want to be able to keep records of all of our testing, and it's something that if an office should ever be audited, it might be one of the first records that you're asked to produce. So what you've done is you've run your test through your sterilizer. You've then taken both the test and the control, and you've incubated them at the appropriate temperature for the appropriate period of time. Once you've removed the vials from the incubator, you're going to read the test results and record each and every test and control that's run on a weekly basis and keep those records for different periods of time depending upon your individual state boards. And it's important that you use either black or blue ink. You would not want to write into this document with pencil. The first thing that it's going to want to know is the operator's initials, which you've recorded on the outside of the label on both the vial and the control. It's going to want to know the sterilizer number and type, however you've identified it in your office. The next thing would be the date and the time that you put the test and the control vial into the incubator. And the last column is going to be the date and the time that you removed the test and the control vial from the incubator. Finally, they're going to want to record the result of both the test and the control. If we're going to assume that this is our test vial, and it's run through the incubator for 10 hours. We look at it and the color of the liquid has not changed, which indicates there is no spore growth, which means this particular test has passed. We would then look at the control vial, which remember was not processed through the sterilizer. When it comes out of the incubator and we see that in fact it has changed colors, that indicates that spore growth has occurred, which means the test was viable, and it means that the control in fact passed. Now let's change the scenario a little bit. What if when I took my test vial out of the incubator and it had changed color, it had gone from purple to yellow? That would indicate that this test has in fact failed. What about on the control vial? If I take it out of the incubator and in fact it has stayed purple, that would mean that there was no spore growth. It means that there could have been something wrong with the process perhaps a human error, process error, or possibly something had happened to the spores and they did not grow, so that test would have to be repeated, both the test and the control. But you'd want to make sure to look at the process and look at expiration date on the product as well.